Hi there, Chris here. I have this multi-lock jackknife. And I just got it. And I ordered the one with the extended, uh, the extended package where you get a whole lot more profiles. When you buy the, just how it comes, th these are the profiles that are in it. I've um, already changed out some of my profiles. It has a key removal one, sort of a half, um, half ball, city rake, snaky rake, this little hook, and a uh, half diamond. But if you, you have the option to order um, the extended one, which has quite a bit more, it comes with quite a bit more uh, profiles. So it's very, very nice, nicely packaged. <coughs> Pardon me. So when you open it up, this is what you get. It also shows you um, how to remove the tension wrench that comes with it. It's the bottom of the keyway tension wrench, which is how these come, uh, these jackknives. So, first off, let's look at the jackknife. It's very light, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it has a great, great finish, which is, you know, what you would expect from multi-lock. And, to remove the bottom of the keyway tension wrench, you just press down and shove out. And when it's in there, it's a little slightly sprung, sprung so it's, it's not gonna come out. And to remove or get to your picks, you just unscrew it a little bit and and you'll notice these want to flop back down there and, and stay retained even when it's loose because there's a little bit little magnet in there, which is kind of cool. So this is how I've set it up with these profiles. But you can set it up a bunch of different ways in there are Let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, five profiles in here. And they have, I'm not sure we can see that. There's a little cutout on the bottom. Oh, maybe there's not. There's a little notching though, that once they go here, they get tightened against um, a stop and they, they do not move which is great for a, a jackknife. A lot of inexpensive ones get wiggly or get loose, and that's, that's not great, but these are, it's a very, very positive. Once you <clears throat> have one profile out and you lock it in place and turn it, it's not moving either up or down. So, very positive. I like that about it. And here <laughs> are some of the, these are the extended profiles that you get. You have that option to purchase those. And I think this whole thing, even with the extended profiles is about 60 US dollars. Um, I bought it from lockpickworld.com. So you have many, many, many profiles to choose from. So we can zoom in on those and if you can take a peek at those. And you can switch it up any way you want. It comes with a, <clears throat> a little locking lanyard type thing that you can put around through here and hang it off your belts or your 
make this part of your keychain. Not sure I'd want to do that. I think my key, the keys would scratch this up, but um, it's a very beautiful finish. So it does come with this, which is kind of cool, and it comes with a little Allen wrench in there to change out the uh, the pick profiles. So. Put that back for now. So the things with what I like about jackknives is they're small and compact and give you a lot of different options for um, for your profiles. Things I don't like particularly, and this is just personal preference. I'm not a big bottom of the keyway fan. Um, on my Mad Bobs, and there's what that comes with, I've modified and made a little top of the keyway tensioner that when this is closed, fits in here, fits in tight, and so I like that. I may try and, and do one for here, actually, for where does it go? Oh, it goes this way. But this does this does work very very well. Another thing I like about these is the very very thin shaft up and down here of these profiles. And if you look at them, they're all pretty damn thin, so that you have a lot of maneuverability in locks. Well, let's see how they work. Here's a little federal padlock. See if I can pick this. Like I say, I'm not a great bottom of the keyway fan, but this is a good bottom of the keyway tension wrench. It fits in here and doesn't, doesn't bind up. And there we go. We got that open. Not a real difficult lock to open, but kind of a cool little lock. Um, then we have this Baldwin. And it is, I can't remember, I'm having a brain, <laughs> a brain fade on that, but this is a pretty good good lock, good bidding, good tolerances. Let's see if we can get into that. I don't back up the pick when I pick, and sometimes on some of the jackknives it's a little wobbly. This doesn't feel that way. Maybe slightly, but I do like the feel of it. It's a solid feel, and it's certainly locked in place. got that one open so you can see picking you know a, a good lock it's uh, you could feel everything it has good feedback um, it feels good in the hand so now let's try one more most people try master locks but I'm really crappy at master locks. <laughs> I don't know why, but 
just is. So what we're going to try here now is, of course, the half snowman, which is the most underrated profile in Locksport, I think. So this is a herd, and these like to be picked counterclockwise. Well, this is about the only lock I can think of that I bottom use a bottom of the keyway tensioner. But so with this I just go in and let the half snowman do the work. And we're into this guy too. So I have to say with these different profiles, with the thin shaft, beautiful finish. Um, this is a great, great jackknife. It may, I may even like it better than my Mad Bob's. Um, having used it for, oh, I don't know, maybe a couple hours, this, this one. So, it is close to Christmas. This would make a beautiful, a wonderful Christmas gift for somebody who's into lock sport. Um, I think, I have to say that this is about the best one out there. Uh, Mad Bob's, I think they may make this in the, in the metal version. Um, if they still make it, it's in a lim limited edition or limited quantities, so it's kind of tough to get. These you can get, no problem. So I highly recommend this thing. It's very, very, very nice jackknife. All right, that's about it. Um, I can't can't think of anything else. Don't know what steel they use, but it feels very nice. It's not too flexy, even even in my picking style, where I don't where I don't back up the pick. So there you go. This is the multi-pick jackknife, and it's the extended version where you have. I don't even have all these up here. All these different profiles that come with it. And like I say, it's about $60 US. All right, thanks a lot. Um, leave a comment. Um, what are your thoughts on this? Ooh, there's a little, what is that? I don't know what that is. I <laughs> just noticed that. I can't tell if it's an Allen wrench or Allen screw or not. Interesting. What's it doing there? I don't know. Oh, it may, oh, I'll bet it's a shaft that this thing tucks under when this is in here. That's probably what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.